Hello everybody, welcome back to Pokemon Yellow version. In the last episode we uh, did the entirety of the Elite Four, took out the champion, became the champion, and got entered into the Hall of Fame. And in this episode we're going to do all the rest of the stuff that uh, we still need to do. Well, kind of. We're, we're going to start doing that. Um, basically I need to heal first of all. Let's go visit Mom and then become champion. Red, if you drive your Pokemon too hard, they'll dislike you. You should take a rest. Thanks, Mom. Alright, so... I'm not sure if anything changes. Like, I don't know if there's any like weird dialogue, like NPC dialogue changes. If I talk to Oak, does he just evaluate my Pokedex? Good to see you, how's your Pokedex coming along? Yeah. 142 Pokemon seen. Man, we're getting there. Anyway, um... So yeah, long story short, uh... The next couple or so of episodes, you know, these last few episodes are going to... be... episodes that are not limited by time, as in I'm just gonna be doing a task in each one, and however long it takes is however long it takes, so... Well, we'll see how things turn out. Um, the only thing that I know of that can be done in the post-game, that's like new, is the thing, you know, the cave thing off over here, that we didn't do last time, because you had to be the champion to enter it. Um, like, literally everything else, we've explored already, we've gotten everything, we've, you know, uh, uh grinded, I don't, I don't even know, we, we, we've done, like, everything, so, this is, like, literally the only thing left in the region that we can possibly do, and now that we've, we're the champion, there's no one blocking this, uh, there's no one blocking this cave entrance, so... Without further ado, let's head in and explore. Alright, so... This place is... kinda big. Like, it's three... three floors. And... It's long and kind of obnoxious. Uh... I'm gonna put up a Max Repel. I don't think it's gonna be very useful. Like, I'd be lying if I said I thought it was going to be useful, so... Uh, you can know. We'll see. Is this water? Yeah, this is water. So they make you have Surf. Hmm... Okay, there's an item up here. There's a Max Elixir. They, I'm pretty sure they're just gonna load us up on items, that, like if, for whatever reason. Even though they're kind of useless now. Now that we've been uh, <laughs> all around. Okay, so we've ended up on the second floor. I'm gonna go this way. Yeah. There's an item here. An Ultra Ball at that. This place is definitely a maze, but like it's not like awful. Hmm. There's a PP up in this rock. They do give you PP ups, which is kind of nice, I guess. Um, I did not mean to check my thing. I wanted to use it actually, just to get it, just to use it. Uh, we'll use it on a uh, psychic. And get that maxed out. And there's another item over here. What is this? A max revive. Ooh. Oh god, what did we run into? A ditto. A level 60 ditto. That's a high level ditto. Yeah, give me away. Okay. This is looking good. This is looking good. 
Oh my god, it's a Rhydon. Yeah, there's, so there's a lot of high-level Pokemon in here. This easily becomes the... Um, best grinding spot that's not the Elite Four, because the Elite Four is the best grinding spot in the game. Now that we've uh, beaten them at least once, and we know we can beat them. Why is there a Weeping Bell in here? That's kind of weird. I don't know how I feel about that. Anyway... So we're back on the first floor. Uh, if we go down here, there's gonna be an item. Rare candy? You know, I'll use the rare candy. Why not? I'll use it on... Uh, I'll use it on... TRG, since he kind of just got destroyed in the final fight. Go up and around. What is this? An Ultra Ball. There's also a PP up here in this rock. Another one. They give you like three PP ups in here. It's kind of crazy. We're going to use that. What are we going to use this on, actually? Um... Hmm. Could use it on Earthquake, but the like, thing is, is that it's not overly useful to do that. I'm gonna do it anyway, because I think Earthquake is probably our best move to use it on. So, just gonna go for it. You know what's kind of funny about this is that it's like set up to be a maze, but it's also very linear at the same time. Like they managed to make it both a maze and linear. And I don't know how they did it. Sand slash, huh? Nope. Oh boy. Hmm. Okay, oh. Hello. On a gold bat, huh? You got a big mouth. With some weird, weirdly placed uh, incisors. Incisors? Incisors? Anyway, there's a full restore there. Hmm, then we go down. Wow, this thing is windy. Then ladder, yep. So then we can go down again, and then there's gonna be an item. Max revive, we take those. Those would have been helpful in the Elite Four when I forgot to buy revives. And the ladder, they, they bring you up and down and up and down like a lot. Top and bottom have to the same place, classic. Rare candy, let's use that on uh, Doug Trio, I guess, because why not? Get everyone up to like level 56 at least. Oh, I forgot that friend isn't level 56. Eh, it's whatever. Doesn't really matter. Um, is there anything up here? No. Okay, so then that brings us to the basement. We're finally in the basement. The basement is where we can run into two Pokemon that we need to catch. One of them is that Chansey that I didn't catch in the Sapphire Zone. The other one... Oh, there's a Chansey. Uh, let's, let's catch this Chansey then. Let's Thunder Wave it. And then I'm gonna thunderbolt the heck out of it, I think. Oh, especially after you did that. Not even a problem. Thunderbolt. This thing's gonna tank these thunderbolts like it's nobody's business. Yeah. I like really don't want to hit it with uh, a physical type move though, because that will just decimate it. Um. 
I also don't want to waste all my Thunderbolts on it, though. Hmm. I think what I'm going to do instead is I'm going to try to... I'm going to try to... I'm going to try to use Psychic as uh, this guy. And then once we get this thing down to pretty low health, then we'll start throwing some stuff at it. Minimize? Oh my god. Why? Why are you like this? The, the, these chances are set up to be as annoying as possible to hit, like, hit and stuff. Also, Psychic can do special defense drops, which is kind of neat. Or wait, does it even do special defense drops or does it do regular defense drops? Because that'd be kind of sad if it did regular defense drops. I really hope I don't KO it, because that'd suck. Double edge, Jesus. Chill. Why does this thing have double edge? Alright, let's do one more. And then we'll start throwing stuff at it. Oh my god. Wait, how did I kill it? I'm actually kind of confused. How did I kill it? Oh, did it get another special defense drop and I wasn't paying too close attention? Well. That's all she wrote, I suppose. That's all she wrote. No. I don't want you. Go away. Let me have my broken heart. Maybe I shouldn't have used, uh, those. Well, now we know for next time. I'm definitely gonna put up another repel, even though we need to catch stuff. Don't. Alright. Oh, no. Where are you? Another gold bat? Yeah, whatever. What? I just took two steps, my guy. Two steps. Two. Get out of here. There's a PP up on this rock. I'm gonna use this PP up on, uh... Also on Earthquake, probably? Yeah, why not? Earthquake? Mm, Alright. We'll surf. So we got Max Revive here, and an Ultra Ball here, and more Wild Pokemon. Ooh, a Rhydon. I love Rhydon. Like, Rhydon is just such a cool Pokemon. Hmm. Let's keep trudging. Yes. I do believe that that up there is our last item in here. And then I'm gonna run around and... I'm gonna run around and try to find the Pokemon I need to find and try to catch them. So... If I can stop running... What's the encounter rate on these gold bats? Because like, they appear every two steps. It's, it's kind of wild. Alright, they give you another Ultra Ball. So I'll be back once I find something I need to catch. Oh, we found another Chansey. Um, so I have a new strat. I have a new strat. I'm gonna switch to Friend. I'm gonna Blizzard him a few times. If we can get a Freeze, we'll be sitting pretty. Like, purdy, purdy. Be sitting purdy. Um. But then we're not going to get special defense drops, it should work out pretty well, just all things considered, all around. Quit using Minimize, you will. Oh my god, please. Please, it's not that hard. Ugh. Why did they give this thing Minimize? Whose idea was that? They need to be fired. 
Come on, we need to freeze. Donk. He didn't use light screen this time, did he? I wonder if light screen wore off also last time. I need to pay more attention to what's going on, I guess. By the way, the chance is a 5% encounter. And the other Pokemon I need to catch is also a 5% encounter. So it's kinda not fun. Kinda not fun. But I digress. Uh we're gonna we're going to paralyze it since we didn't get a freeze, and then uh uh, hope to God doesn't kill itself with recoil, because I'm very aware of the fact that I can do that. Oh boy. Oh boy. It's gone. It's gone completely to hell. Oh no. This thing is just gaining all the stats it possibly can. There we go. Now we're in the clear. Alright, let's uh, throw an Ultra Ball at it. No, one shake though, one shake. So the odds aren't like incredibly low. Okay, there we go. Look at that. Not that bad. Not that bad. So we caught Chansey. Way I, I like that way more than this fiery zone. Way more. The egg Pokemon, a gentle and kind-hearted Pokemon that shares its nutritious eggs if it sees an injured Pokemon. Want we'll to give a nickname? No. Bye-bye. Okay, so we still have one more Pokemon to find. Whoa, we found that pretty quickly, actually. Um, this thing's a 5% chance, also, and it uh, is lower level than... Like, it's, it's, it can only be found at level 15.55, so I had to wait for my repel to run out, but we found it, like, right away, somehow. This one's level 55. Um, let's make sure that this thing isn't... Like, let's see how hard it is actually to catch. 45, not that bad. Um, I also want to check out its base stats real quick, just to be informed. Pre defense and special defense are like the same thing. Um, I suppose I should look at Gen 1 stats instead, but I'm too lazy to do. Uh, instead, what we're gonna do is we're going to paralyze it like normal. And then I'm going to maybe. Oh, what am I gonna do to you? Um. And it's a normal type, so it's like, what do I even do to a normal type? I might, uh... Well, how much attack do you have? 95? You have such terrible attack, it's not even funny. I'm gonna let this boy... Wait, how much, uh, special does this guy... Does this Pokemon have? 123, that's a lot. Um... What about you? No, wait, no, no, no. Uh, uh... Yeah, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to have he, uh, my Pikachu Mega Kick. Because Mega Kick? Yeah, I was going to say Mega Kick shouldn't do a whole lot. And... Oh my god, he disabled it. What are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing? No. I mean, what do I do now? I need to like come up with a game plan here because... What's not going to kill it, or do too much damage to it? Hmm... How much attack does Doug Trio have? 117. He's so speedy, goddamn. I was like looking at Cut, and I'm like, Cut's not that powerful, but like... Hmm... I've almost got no other options, except for like Leech Seed, but I don't really want to Leech Seed. Alright, we're gonna try it, we're gonna try it, we're gonna try it. He might crit though. The crit is kind of the scary part. Oh, that was a crit. Okay, we're, we're doing fine, we're doing fine. One more, and uh... Ooh... 
Oh, I don't like that. Oh, I don't like that at all. At all, at all. Because if he crits, I'm pretty sure he's going to kill. I'm not going to risk it. We're not going to risk it. Uh... I'll try the Great Balls. Why not? Because we have five of them, and they're going to be pretty... Pretty pointless after this. Wow. We caught it in a great ball. Easy. Alright. Look at Tongue was caught. The licking Pokemon. <laughs> its tongue spans almost seven feet and it moves more freely than its four legs. Oh wow. That's kind of interesting. It its licks can cause paralysis. The move lick does cause paralysis, I'll give you that one. Give a nickname to him? No. Okay, so uh, there's a couple things I'm going to recommend before we do the next part. One, if you care to use your Master Ball, now's the time to have it. <laughs> Two, make sure you're well stocked, I guess, on like stuff, like full restores, uh, revives and the like, and then make sure you're stocked up on balls, like fairly stocked up anyway. Um, And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to dip out, go stock up, and then I'll be back. So, peace. Oh, you know what? I kind of kind of completely forgot, but while I was like doing some stuff, I realized that there is a new option in the PC. Now the Pokemon League option. It says access Pokemon League site. And you get access to the Hall of Fame list. So... You can look and see uh, what level and what and what Pokemon you uh, did the uh, or beat the Elite Four with at any given time. Because um, like the thing is, is you can rechallenge the Elite Four anytime you want, and the second time is harder. And that's that's really it. The second time is just harder. Um, but you can do as many times as you want. Rechallenging the the harder elite four just over and over again is the best way to grind money in the game. So if you need to grind money for getting game corner stuff or whatever, that's uh that's pro the most efficient way to do it if you are capable. Otherwise, um, grinding Pokemon in Cerulean Cave or uh, in Victory Road until they are high enough level to where they can do that is probably the best way to go about it. So. I just want to mention that real quick. Okay, I have done all the preparations I need to do. So, without further ado, let's uh, head down the rest of the path. And we see that there's a Pokemon there. And we have to surf around to get to it. Now before you talk to it, as we as we usually do, we're gonna save. Just in case. You know, just in case. Say hello to Mewtwo. The most powerful Pokemon in the game. At level 70. <laughs> We are very underleveled. Um, I led with friend just to try and get a blizzard freeze, maybe, if it doesn't kill me with psychic first, which it just did. Um, yeah, or maybe we live the psychic. You might surprise me. Nah, he got a crit, right? No, he didn't even get a crit. Okay. Uh, I kind of figured that was going to happen, to be honest. Instead, we're going to try and uh, I'm gonna pull out Chubby Chew, I guess, and we'll go for the Thunder Wave. Okay, so we at least paralyzed it. That's like a good start. And now, 
I don't even know what I want to do to it. It has such good stats just all around the board. I'm gonna Thunderbolt it. This thing, this thing's got like 120 in every stat. You know, this thing's beefy, just in general. And he's powerful, and he's gonna one shot like my entire team. The only thing that I think stands a chance to not die against it is uh, Egg Egg and Eggy. So I just want to point that out there. Or put that out there. Alright, let's bring in Rossetti. I'm going to have him Earthquake. We're, we're just trying to do as much damage as possible to this thing. Because I want to uh, get it low health. You know, low-ish health. The, the bad thing about this is that he has Recover. And there's no running out PP. So he just has Recover all the time. And whether or not he uses it or not is completely random. And so us catching this thing is going to be mostly RNG. As sad as that kind of is. Um, yeah, I don't know. We're just going for it. I'm going to drill peck him. Yeah, there's recover. So that's going to give him back like all of his health. Yep. Yeah, the, the, worst, the worst part is, like I said, is that he literally just always has Recover, so you have to get really lucky um, in terms of him just like not having health or him getting paralyzed like repeatedly. I'm gonna try attack. Oh, we crit! We didn't even crit! How did that kill him? I feel like I'm lied to. Well, that's why we, that's why we save, so then we can just be like... Um, you know, we could reload. It's no big deal. All right, there we go. Take two. Fun. All right, let's talk to him again. Uh, you know, what I realized I realized that try attack is still a stab. I don't know why I thought that it wasn't stab, but it was essentially like using another version of drill pack. Like it really <laughs> was not that uh, not that helpful. Well, low roll? Maybe, maybe it's a roll. I don't think so. I doubt it. This thing's too powerful. Swift, huh? Weird choice in moves. So this thing, so this thing has a swift, psychic, recover, and what else? I'm trying to get a sense of what smooth set is. Trying to get a sense of what moves, what smooth set is. Barrier. Interesting. If you're just gonna let me attack you, then I'll do it. Guys, quit raising your defense. Jeez. Actually, I don't really care if he keeps raising his defense. It's fine. Hmm. And he gripped me that time. So let's uh let's go to let's go to Titania. I want Titania to body slam. Actually, I want I want her to flash. If we can make this guy miss, that's like a win, you know. I didn't even think about that last time. I'm gonna flash literally as much as I can. Wait, can I only flash once? Or... Okay, so that's two. I'm gonna do three times. Yeah, three times and then we'll... That should make it easier to at least live against it. If not, uh... If not completely just... Is it gonna be way better just the Thunderbolt it? It's gonna make it easier to live against it if not, uh... You know, catch it out, right? Keep being fully paralyzed. We love it. The only reason I'm doing a uh, Thunderbolt instead of switching to like a different Pokemon is because I want to save my Executor for like last because he's gonna be the uh, the Bastion of Hope, essentially, in case things start going like real bad. Um, 
I really want to get into red health before I start throwing things at him, to be honest. Or not. <laughs> or not. I guess we'll keep spamming Thunderbolt. Like, I, I don't want to use physical type moves for a couple reasons. One, I don't want to, uh... I don't want to... Um... Crit and then kill it accidentally, because it's raised its defense like four times. Over. And... It's gonna take forever without crits, so that's kind of what the, the mindset is, but... I'll bring out Rossetti, and I will slash it. I don't want to Earthquake necessarily, but we'll slash. Okay, so that was a crit. I'm thinking that this will crit pretty much every time, because it's slash. And so... We're looking pretty, pretty good here, actually. Because these crits aren't doing a whole lot, and it can't get worse, you know? Ooh, I think one more crit. Well, if he would stop recovering. Yeah, that's the, that's the worst part about trying to get this thing in Gen 1. He will, he will recover until the end of time. Eventually, we'll just, we will run out of PP if he just keeps, like, recover stalling like that. Or if he keeps killing my Pokemon. Jeez, man. I wish you'd stop killing my Pokemon. You know, I paralyzed you and lowered your accuracy. What are the odds that you'd break through both? Alright, let's let's send out Aegon Aegon. The tank. The myth. The legend. I'll use strength, why not? Oh wow. That crit did way more than I thought it was going to. Alright. Alright. Take three. Burr. Kind of uh, annoying to catch without a Master Ball. I bet you some people are going to be like, why aren't you using the Master Ball? I would recommend using the Master Ball. I'm just trying to flex and not use the Master Ball. Oh, please, please give a freeze. If we can freeze him, it literally makes it 50 times easier. Oh my god, I, don't, I need the freeze, dude. The freeze is the play. No, the freeze. Oh. Sorry, I'm getting too into it. Um, the reason that Freeze makes it easier is because he can't do anything, and I'm pretty sure Freeze just lasts forever. So it's like uh, disabling his recover, essentially, and uh, not ever having to worry about dying. It's, it's like the cheat code to winning, <laughs> to catching the Pokemon. Oh, he's got Barrier, that's right. I was like, what's his fourth move? It's Barrier. I need to keep that in mind. Oh my god, please. Dude, he's given us so much leg room. There's no way Blizzard can't freeze. Oh my god, Blizzard, please. Please, Blizzard, please. Blizzard, I've never asked for anything more in my life. Oh, yeah. Oh, we're in business now. Oh, we're in business. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, that's uh Oh my god, that was a lot for a critical hit. Jesus. Um How do I not kill him? <laughs> How do I not kill him? That's the that's the question. If I use another blizzard. No, I like where he's at though. That's like the problem. Um, honestly? Who has our lowest attack or special? Let's uh, let's figure this out right now. Live. 155, that's a lot of special. 155. 123 or 113. So 123 or 113 right now. Still 113. 123 or 113. Oh my god, 151, Jesus. This thing's a, a monster in terms of attack. 
95, which makes sense. 95 and 90. Dude, that's so sad, Pikachu. Oh no. One seventy-eight, bro. This thing's actually insane. Um, all right, we're switching to Pikachu. I think. I think that's the play. We're gonna switch to Pikachu. Uh, we're going to have him Mega Kick because after Stab, I'm pretty sure Mega Kick does less damage, just in general, even with the crit. So like, oh yeah, that does like next to nothing. Assuming we actually hit though. Come on. Maybe, maybe we should Thunder Bullet. it. You know, maybe Chubby Cheese is useful for something after all. You know, doing chip damage. I just realized that he has a barrier up, so that's why I stopped Mega Kicking also. That was perfect. Okay. It's time. First of all, let's see if we get in a Great Ball, because that'd be fun. One Shake. We're doing pretty good. One shake. Okay, we didn't get in a Great Ball, which is fine. Let's uh, try the Ultra Balls now. We got 20 of them. 20! One shake. Okay. Come on. Come on, Mewtwo. Mewtwo, you know you want to. Come on, me too. You gotta respect the fact that I didn't use the Master Ball. You know what I mean? He's gotta respect it. Yeah, that's what I thought. That's what I thought. See, I told you that freezing would make it like 50 times easier because he can't recover, he can't attack. Freezing is the way to go. Just for catching anything in general. If you can freeze them, then it's like, hmm. Alright, me too. The genetic Pokemon. Its DNA is almost the same as Mew's. However, its size and disposition are vastly different. I'm not going to give a nickname to him. So. Now that we've done that. I bought an escape rope because I don't have dig anymore. Just for this exact purpose of getting the heck out of here. And. We've. Done. Quite literally everything in the game. Uh, except for. You know, catching them all. Uh, and like one other thing that I don't want to spoil. And also we haven't re-challenged the Elite Four. So, we still have a few things left to do, but regardless, this is where we're going to end off today's episode with our newly obtained Mew. So, if you like the video, please hit like. If you really like the video, consider subscribing. If you dislike the video, hit dislike. Otherwise, I'll see everyone next time.